Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early April 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libras out there. Hope everything's going great for you, my friends. Let's see what's up, my gods. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you're cooling in on, which is always interesting. So let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for the lovely Libras here. Early April. We are in airy season, my friends. That is your zodiacal counterpart. So let's see what's going on here, please. Thank you. Okay. So there could be a certain situation individual or something it could even be a task that has like your full attention or full focus and this could also go the other way around too you might be under someone's mic microscope when this is here i've seen this a couple of times this week for other signs as well highly focused now before we fully dive into that if you're new here i'll be speaking about the april subscriber surprise towards the end so you might want to check that out also if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a bit about this card because there's a lot of symbolism here. So we see this individual. I'm not sure if you could tell, but he has angel wings. So this could represent spiritual protection. This could be a very good thing for a lot of Libras, knowing that you're spiritually insulated. You got someone watching over you. This is a beautiful thing. But notice this angel is looking directly at that baby. So this could be several different things. One, it could be manifesting. There could be something very specific you're trying to manifest, whether it's a situation, whether it's a person, whether it's a result. It's like, all right, I will make this happen. I need to make this happen one way or another. But there's a lot of focus here. There's a lot of focused intent. So this tells me there could be a specific situation that it's like it's taken up the lion's share of like your mental power for whatever reason. Like it has your full focus. Now... This could easy, easily be keeping tabs in one form or another. Maybe there's someone or something that you're keeping friendly tabs on, or there could be someone that is under, you're under their microscope. So we'll need to look for signs of that as we move throughout the reading itself. But this could represent possibilities and blessings. It Overall, it's a positive card. But let's get into Tarot now. We'll put that angel over there. He could keep looking at that baby. And yeah. I would say the first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. Let's get you three in the upright, then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. So let's shuffle it up one time here for my Libras, please. What do we got? And while we shuffle this up, let's talk about last week's reading, my friends, because the unexpected energy has come back around. Now, it was titled An Unexpected Action, and that energy could still bleed over for the coming days and weeks. So don't be surprised if certain individuals are acting in different ways or someone makes a move that you didn't expect. It's like, okay, all right, I didn't see that coming. That was a huge energy I saw. So maybe some of you, right? Maybe you're acting in a little different of a way. But let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. Let's get it going here. Just lots of mag magnetic energy around the Libra Collective, too. Just manifesting, pulling a lot of stuff towards you. All right, yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. That was the big card last week, that's for sure. I think most of the Zodiac had the Wheel. This could be really, really good. Could just represent change, too. We'll have to see what's up here. Let's get two more. I like the Wheel. That's a good sign. But we are starting with a very sudden, fast-moving type of energy. Okay, hurry up and wait type of, okay. It just, that's what this combination is giving me. It's like, hurry up and wait. That could also be someone that has some plans that they want to put into motion. Could be very good. Let's get one more out here for the Libras and we'll piece this together. Wow, Ace of Wands. So this could be really positive depending. Now we do have a lot of fire energy here, which can be unpredictable. That's for sure. But I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic here, Libra. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes. And we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, once again, tons of fire energy here. Now, fire could be very good for motivation, passion, drive, desire. So you might be recuperating some energy within you or feeling more lively. That could be a really good thing. We also have this Wheel of Fortune, so things could be prone to shift and change very quickly, but that is a good luck charm. I like this energy overall. 
also with the low numbered card. So like a plan might be going into motion soon, at least on somebody's end. So let's go through piece by piece and really build this out. Position number one, we do have the wheel. Now I was already mentioning this card to me. This is my four leaf clover, the tarot deck. It's Jupiter energy. I also link it to Saggy sometimes. So it's like we have a triple down of this fire energy. So the wheel to me is like, yeah, either you're wanting to try your luck with something like, oh, maybe I'll give this a shot. Maybe I'll give it a go. What could go wrong type of energy? And I don't mean that in a facetious way. This is just the energy that the wheel has. Now, another thing with this card, yeah, it could be luck on your side. It could be something changing to your benefit and all that good stuff. But at the same time, the wheel, it shifts. It moves very suddenly. It could represent the karmic cycles of our life, the journeys that we go through, the beginnings, the endings, or just karma in general, the universal plan when we see this card. But once again, very fast. It moves very, very fast. So we'll want to look into this further. That's for sure. Whether it is showing us karmic archetypes or just something that like a dynamic is about to shift. Now, I did say initially it was giving me like a hurry up and wait. And I felt a similar thing in the Gemini reading where it's like we start really fast, then it slows down, then it starts up again. It's like start, stop, start. It's like a stutter step in the energy. But moving to the center, we have the two of wands. Now, the two of wands, before I pick it up, brings me back to this energy that we saw in the very beginning of the spread, that focused intent, that focused energy. All twos in tarot could represent partnerships, they could represent decisions, being at a crossroads in life. And when I see the two of wands, I think of somebody strategizing, somebody that's planning, somebody that is in deep consideration. Okay, so when I saw like this focus, now I see the two of wands, like to me, it, it's somebody that is in like deep contemplation when its energy is in the mix. Not bad by any means, but we do want to clarify to see what this is going to be. Like, is this going to be a positive result? Is this somebody putting a plan into action? If we were just reading three, these three cards, I would say, yeah, damn right, it could be. Because like we start here with the wheel, luck on the side, into the planning, boom, right into the Ace of Wands. So somebody, and we saw it last week, unexpected action, somebody could be putting a plan into motion. Okay, If that's not somebody else, Spirit could be telling you. And we'll see what's up with that when we go further in. Now, on the back end, we are ending it off with the Ace of Wands. So I haven't seen this explosive, fiery energy around you in, in a little while. And it's not bad, once again, by any means. It could be really good, once again, the passion, motivation, drive, desire, all that good stuff. But a lot of fire energy could also be temper, temper, temper. It could be someone that's a little angry, a little upset, or just something they're a little disgruntled about. I'm not necessarily picking that up here. You might be feeling more energetically rejuvenated in the coming days and weeks, and that could be a really good thing, especially with this Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands could also represent um, offers and opportunities coming in suddenly. So it's like we have such fast-moving energies on the outside, but this energy hasn't caught up yet, where it's like, all right, this one's moving, that one's moving, this one's ready to go, that one's ready to go. This one is like, not so fast. Like, I'm not quite ready just yet. So... I want to dive deeper on all this stuff. And before we even dive deeper, remember the Ace of Wands, it could be passion filled. It could represent sexuality and stuff like that. So your libido might be heightened, but there's just a lot of fire energy here and it's unpredictable. Let's dive deeper. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for the Libras, please. What do we got, my guides? What's going on? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that wheel. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Libra, you can drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay. Why is the wheel here? What's happening? Why is the wheel here for the Libras? Thank you. Six of Cups. I mean, and this has been an energy, and I'm getting, I'm not frustrated with you, Libra. Not by any means. But it's something that I'm frustrated to see so much within so many of the Zodiac signs for so many weeks. It's a, such a repeating type of energy, and it is the energy of returning and revisiting. Okay, so you take that for what it's worth. I'm not going to expand on it too much. It is what it is. Now could be a time where at the very least, you're mentally revisiting memories, thinking about things from the past. 
You could, this could literally be a person too, but the Six of Cups is a card of history. It's a card of soul connection, soul ties. So when I see it under that sudden shifting of the Wheel of Fortune, you see why we have to connect these dots because even intuitively, it's not telling me anything different. Now, if a message comes up for weeks and weeks and weeks, I'm going to give it to you straight how I feel it, regardless of if it's the same as it's been. We're going to have different energy as we move forward, that's for sure. But at least attached to this wheel, there is something about revisiting. Okay, so whether it's a situation, whether it is a person. And the reason it might be coming up so often and so hot and heavy is, yeah, sure, the eclipses and all that stuff. But it could be unfinished business. All right. It could be just some sort of piece of unfinished business. So whether it was lack of closure or there's still something to be done, this just feels like unfinished business to me in a very big way. So let's keep moving forward. We're not going to overcomplicate it. It is what it is. For a portion of you, once again, if it's none of that, then I was just saying it could just be a really important soul tie. Someone that it's a karmic connection, universal connection. This person is meant to be in your life, was meant to be in your life, and it's there when we have like the wheel and the six of cups. So let's go in to the two of wands, please. I really want to get over to that ace now because you know, it's like we have the past and we have the future. So we do have like this cyclical type of energy showing up. Okay. Oh, who, what are you planning? What are you planning to do here? Not much at the moment. That's the one thing I will say, but there is something that's like getting put into place. And to me, it's like, okay, I'm going to get this into place. I'm going to get this into place. And then finally, when it's good and ready, boom, then this energy is going to come in. We have the eight of wands in reverse underneath the two of wands. So like I said, this is like full go, full stop. Whoa, 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 slow it down. Not so fast. It's like giving me that type of energy. Eight of wands in reverse underneath the two of wands. Could be someone just taking their time with a process where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to rush this. I'm not going to rush myself. I'm going to take my time till it's good and ready. So I feel like it could be multiple things. Once again, yeah, this could be someone you're not talking to where it's like, all right, there's not a lot of communication at the moment for another portion of you. Yeah, this is someone like just getting everything planned. They're planning something here, but it's not quite ready. And the other energy here is someone just really taking their time. Like, I'm, I'm really going to take my time with this. Now, I don't feel like this is purposeful delays. I don't feel like this is someone being difficult for no reason whatsoever. It's like, okay, like, don't rush this. Don't rush it for whatever reason. Whether it's a totally different situation in this front end or whether it's the same exact one, it's given me very much slow and steady progress, and that's okay. So let's go in on the Ace of Wands, see if there's a possible breakthrough coming in, because there could be with all the stuff we're picking up here. So why is this Ace of Wands here? I mean, some of you could just be in this contemplation right now, where it's just the time to contemplate, time to think. Because that is a big thing I'm picking up here in the center, just there's so much contemplating happening. So let's see why the Ace of Wands is in the mix. Thank you. All right. This comes in very suddenly. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse underneath this Ace of Wands. So like these are energies similar to like what we saw last week where it's just something that happens quick, happens suddenly, pops in really quickly. Now, hopefully you're not having issues with an Earth sign. Um, there is something about this energy that's very difficult to control. To me on this back end, I'm picking up an energy of a craving of some sort. So for some of you Libras out there, there could be something very specific that you were craving or even a person. It just really depends on what you're going through. But it's like, no, nah, there's something. I, I really want this. Um, that could be somebody else as well. But when I see the King of Pentacles, usually it's very sturdy, grounded, stable type of energy, abundant, all that good stuff. When it's in reverse, it's an energy that's a little bit unhinged. It's a little like haywire in its vibe. So for some of you, yeah, maybe this energy here in the center, like the slow, steady, is the way to go. Because with this Ace of Wands, this King of Pentacles in reverse, it just feels like very complex, very complicated type of energy here. So I think just taking your time through a process is the thing, okay, for a lot of you. However that hits, whether it's regards to work or people, slow and steady is really the way to go. But I'm getting this odd craving here on the back end and just something that pops in, pops up suddenly. Okay, just like we have here in the front. Okay, so let's go through and do a quick recap here, Libra. I mean, take from this reading what you will. You could watch your other alignments as well. But if you kindly look in the box, 
there's just like, I don't want to say there's a hodgepodge of different energies. There's a lot of fire in the mix. But position number one, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Cups. The same theme that we've been seeing for weeks and weeks for a lot of the Zodiac, whether it's revisiting situations or revisiting things or someone coming back around. You might be contemplating even. This doesn't necessarily mean it's a person, but there's a contemplation about something that's already elapsed. Is there good energy to it? I do feel like there's good intentions tied to it. And it's like, let's go, let's move this. And on the outsides, they're both action oriented. This one in the center is like, nope, slow it down. Like, not so fast. There's a very deep contemplation happening here. And I think that's the way to go. I think that's the right answer where it's like, all right, slow and steady, take your time. There's a lot of contemplation. There could be someone that you're not particularly speaking with right now. Uh, but I'm getting a planning. It's like, all right, I'm putting this plan into place. I'm getting it just right. And when the time comes, the time comes. It's just giving me that. On the back end, we have the Ace of Wands with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So you might be having issues with an Earth sign if that's not the case. This just feels a little chaotic in the energy here on the back end. Sure, maybe there is something you're a little angry or upset about. It just, it just feels like a chaotic energy. So if you were to rush into anything, in this time like spirit saying like that's not the way to go just embrace the slow steady process here because there's a lot of unpredictability here there's a lot of unknowns and unpredictability so yeah please take a screenshot of that libra let's get you a shadow card my friends i'll shuffle it up one time what's in the shadows for the lovely libras guides and spirit team and, uh, and yes this will I like to pull one of these at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a bad thing. They could be really good. So let's get you one here. It's in the shadows for Libra. Oh, and yes, if you made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love and appreciation for all my channel members. All right, let's get it going here. What do we got? What is in the shadows? The Libra. Mm. Okay, we'll take it. All right, so we do have the Emperor energy here, and we are in Aries season. This could represent an Aries for some of you. Um, it's a very deep attachment type of energy, especially showing up here within the shadows. Now, for a portion of you Libras out there, Aries season, which we're currently in right now, with the Emperor showing up in the shadows, could be very significant for you. Okay, whether you're in this mode, that mode, that mode, it don't matter. There could be a significance about your journey and what you're going through right now with this emperor. Now, for a portion of you, this could just rep represent um, scars or issues or problems that you're connected to, connecting to a divine masculine figure here with the emperor in the shadows. Um, some of you could even be a father figure. I'm not fully going to go that route. But to me, this is a card of control. And I do think for a lot of Libras out there, this could be a little tidbit from spirit saying like, listen, Libra, you may have the best intentions or may you may have had the best intentions, but there's always going to be things in life that we can't control, whether it's other people's actions, whether it's our own reactions, like we could try to control it. Sometimes we can't because the emperor could be very controlling in its ways. So I think knowing and accepting that there are always going to be certain things that are just out of your hands is a place to find acceptance in whatever it is you might be going through. Um, but once again, there is this strong tie to the divine masculine. So we're just going to leave it at that, Libra. That's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the April subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you could check out my digital calendar and schedule at mastermetaphysics.com. And if you got your name in for the March subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced on April 1st. But for the April subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Tarot in Wonderland. It's one of my favorite decks. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, if you had to switch your zodiac sign, which sign would you choose to be out of the whole 12? So if you do that, you'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you soon.